So we've got, I don't know if we'll get to all these today. My goal is to do that, but I've got my coffee. It just, it just depends on how fast we get through these. That's, that's the plan. All right. The Disorient Express. Dooley has called me to the subway station to deal with an emergency. Oh boy. Detective, you're here. I came as soon as you called. What's the case? Case? No, I just needed a ride. Station's closed. Closed? Yeah, some spooky train is blocking the platform. Anyway, let's go. A spooky train? Yep, spooky train. Anyway, we'd better get going or we'll be late to work. Dooley, it's a spooky train. We're the dark side division. Do you not think? I try not to. That's detective work. <laughs> Let's go have a look then. Fine. But if we miss the free donuts at work, you're buying. All right. Let's get on with this waste of time. Nothing happening here. Investigation then. All right. Let's see. I can't say I'm surprised to find that something strange is happening here at station 666 ST. Oops. There's really nothing. I don't see anything. So let's carry on. Well, subway stairs. Hi, Panquake. How are you? Not as dumb as your grammar, kid. Yeah, kid. Did you do that, Dooley? I think you did that. Cops is dumb. Uh, we can go that way. Let's look at the flickering light. Flickering lights always su suggest spooky hijinks. <laughs> if, I could s s s s if I could talk. Seems to be working, but I have no cash. Time to put this badge to work. <laughs> and make use of my police privileges. Sorry, I was reading your message, Panquake. Why is it being annoying? Smack it. I'm stuck on an ad. Help. Uh, maybe... Have you tried smacking it? Have you tried rebooting it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. That takes us out. This takes us through the barrier. Do you use the subway often? No, before we had the squad car, I tended to take taxis. <coughs> <coughs> what? What? Did you say something just then? What? Me? No, 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 no. Sorry, detective. The barrier is broken. We have to crawl underneath it. Can't we at least jump over? No, the insurance for jumping was too high. We're only cleared for a slow crawl. Being a cop is nothing like television promised it would be. Well, there's a spooky conductor, apparently. Let's talk to Busker. Uncle Sam don't want you to know About the truce I'm here to show So it makes me frown When I smell a pig and his dumb sidekick Come down to shut me down. <laughs> Did you like my song? I was singing it for the guy because he was singing it, you know? Yeah, right? All right. Shut up. Don't make fun of me. Sidekick isn't a word. Poetic license. Pig. His name's Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> There's something about this green, transparent, and eerie train that suggests it's not meant to be here. Well, finally, Panquake. Jeez. Do you have a ticket, sir? Sorry, who are you? The train's conductor, sir. Right, you look a tad ghostly, sir? That I do. That I do. Are you a ghost? Not at all, sir. Ghosts are blue, for one. And they can't be seen, with, not without the proper equipment. 
No, we're from the dark side. Then what are you doing here? Train stuck, sir. Doing my job to keep the passengers safe while this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir. I'm sure those boys from the bright side division are looking into it right now. Thanks, Panquake. That's weird. I don't know why uh, it was glitched out. It's kind of strange. Right side division? Right side division. Right. Why are you here? As I said, sir, train's stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the tracks, sir. Would have to see inside the control rooms to be sure, but I can't leave my post here. Ticket? Thought not. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you solids to leave. Did you just call us solids? Certainly not, sirs. I wouldn't be throwing around language like that. Goodbye. Come back anytime, sir. Okay, so we've got to figure out why the train's stuck. Hmm. Let's go to the platform. A plunger, but without the plungy bit. So it's a stick then. We got a handle. Apparently that's the thing I needed. I wonder if this camera caught any useful footage, but I can see that it, the working light is painted on. <laughs> nice. Let's go in the toilets. This looks like a lovely clean restroom that I would not take a shit in. Hmm, I need to get my eyebrows plucked. Me too, Dooley. Me too. Are we seeing a ghost poop? No. I'm in a bit of a bind, Daddy-o. Uh, hi there. Oh, sorry, I thought the door was unlocked. Yeah, lock's broke. And I have no feet to hold against it. Right, well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Whoa, hold up, Daddy-o. I'm in a bit of a funky situation. Maybe you could help me out. Um, what is it? Stall has no toilet paper, Daddy-o, and I'm a cat that needs him some. Yeah, sure, we can look. Or I guess we're gonna find ghost toilet paper for this Stella. Ooh, what on earth is that? Not sure, but I think we should send it back to wherever it came from. No use. You could say that that tentacle <laughs> right. You could say that is in tentacle on staying where it is. Uh, I need to find something to push it down with. We got a stick. Doesn't feel right to me. Okay, well. Creepy or not, nobody deserves to be stranded without toilet paper. That noise reminds me of my career since I was assigned to the dark side division. Ha ha ha. Right. So we've got to find a plunger, I'm guessing. Here you go, guys. Sorry to leave you hovering for so long. All right, Daddy-o. Here, take this coin as thanks. We got an occult coin, whatever we're going to use that for. So we need to find a piece for that plunger, I'm assuming. Maybe, uh... Let's look at them. Here, there seems to be something in here. I got a receipt. A glowing green receipt that says pick up. I can't read much else on it. The control room is locked for now. Dooley. Now come on, detective. You know as well as I do is how these things go. So we need... I don't think there was anywhere else we could go back here. Any idea what this is? I know what it's not, sir. It's not a ticket onto this train. Sorry, sir, but passage of this train cannot be bought. Well, I mean to say that it can be, just not for me. Hey, that ain't no real money. Not sure what the best course of action is here. Let's see. Oh, I know what, here. There's not a chance in hell that this will work. 
Think again. Oh, right. Of course. We've got ourselves a ticket. Here you go. One ticket. Fine. On you go then, I suppose. Oh, my. I like your glasses. Da, they're my party glasses. On your way to a party? Always dark leg. Every place is party place when I have my goggles on. And I always have my goggles on. Even here now, we party on the train. <laughs> well, hello there. Hiya. Where are you off to? I was on my way to San Francisco. <laughs> Obviously. But then we got stuck here. This place is terrifying. How so? Well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky. Nobody's being followed by Shadow Man, and nothing is on fire. Nothing. Maybe you're not the girl for me. Granny Dooley? Is that you? Sorry, dearie. I'm Granny Gooley. You do look like my little Patrick, though. My name's Patrick, too. Did you also like games of I Spy as a Child? I did! I spy with my little eye the coming of the end. The world's eating itself. Rivers of gore flooding the streets. Uh, I don't, I don't know this version of the game. Oh, seeing the end times was little Patrick's favorite. Oh my. Ah, dark side portal. It appears we've found our number one suspect for all these strange going ons. You have the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say or do, maybe. Dooley, what are you doing? Reading in its rights. And how exactly do you intend to arrest it? With my handcuffs, obviously. Top marks for enthusiasm, Dooley. Well, it looks like we're going into the dark side. I better get a drink of coffee first. Right then. Looks like the purple rift has an accomplice. I'm going to need a second pair of handcuffs. Agent McScream. Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Does the storm recognize the, the wind, rain? Damn it, man. I've lost my train of thought. So you're an agent here. We're all agents of the never ending hunt. Servants of the Crawling Death Void. Ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks. it has been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. Any idea what's going on here? Interlopers, fiends, fleshy monstrosities. Things that shouldn't have come to pass. Tracks of chaos intertwine. So not much of an idea right now then. No. Oops. through that. So receding hairline, how's that treating you? The end comes for us all. Entropy is a cruel mistress. Yeah, let's hope from growing up in this weird hole. Goodbye. I'd best be going. We'd all best be going to the places we knew we'd be best at. Yeah. Roxa. Raxa? Finally, somebody in authority. Hey! Sorry, guy, but you don't know what's going on more than the rest of us. Hi, detective. What's going on? Raxa, why are you here? Getting the train home from college, then we got diverted to whatever this is. Well, we're on the case now, so get comfortable. He means... No, yeah, I get it. Let me know if I can help it but at all. Will do. Hello? do da dee I wonder if he even knows what's going on. Stay back, monster. Whoa, calm down. Sorry, I thought you were him. Him? The intense man from the tunnel who threatens to arrest or, and or eat anyone who gets off the train. Arrest or eat? Yep, and I'm not sure who he chooses. You're not, you're not really him. I, I don't know what happened. We left this last station on time. Then some weird lights flashed and now we're here. Wherever here is. Who's this man you keep talking about? 
He he looks a bit like you. Only not not at, not at all now that I see you. Properly see you. He stalks about outside this train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more menacing than dangerous. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. Hey, dude. We've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm afraid... Because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not at liberty. <laughs> I think I indulged a little too much this morning. You probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Far out, dude. Never mind. I should probably stay with these people. Make sure they're okay. You're tired of walking through the tunnels, aren't you? Stop using your Sherlock powers on me. Oh boy. There's a ghost cop, a ghost busker. Hmm. Now then. Now then, now then. You look like one of those people, folk, that we got plotting about the place right now. Officer Dooley? Name's Gooley, Chief of the Brightside Division. Brightside? Division specialists that deal with threats from your neck of the woods, as so to speak. My neck of the woods? The other world that which from whence you came, son. I surmise from your appearance that you are a detective, albeit one of the down on his luck. Hey, I presume that the case you've crossed over to investigate your world's version of this situation. I am. Can you help? No, son, I cannot. This is your jurisdiction. You should leave this to us. Well, this isn't your jurisdiction. You should leave this to us professionals and took care of our trains back in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Jurisdiction, son, seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Send me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. That's not how buskers work here. You're a tourist. This is a restricted area, classified personnel only. Are you a classified personnel? No. I did not think so, on account of myself and McScream being the only ones who is. So unless it's you as one of us, I suggest you step back, son. Step back. So I gotta get past Officer or Chief Gooley somehow. We can go upstairs. Hmm. Is this, is this machine crying? Doesn't feel right to me. Does it feel right to me? Ooh. Come get me from this station, he said. Routine, he said. Ass. What horrors could possibly make the news here? Mayor points off camera. Trains do not run on time, they run on fuel. Trains will also be late. Right. Some things are universal, I suppose. Right then. It's a costume shop. Hmm. I am an invisible person. Welcome, sir. It's our, that is to say, me and I's pleasure to welcome you to a costume shop. So that's its name. Your broken sign wasn't very clear. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, my old fella said. And if it is broken, maybe don't fix it anyway. He's, uh, he's, he'd add. Very practical man he was. How can I aid you, sir? Trying to intimidate your direct superior at work? Hoping to make a wow a six-armed lover? Tired of looking like a hobo? Hey, that's our motto. Whatever your shame, spiders got you covered. Hmm. Wig and mustache, wizard outfit, biker outfit, pirate outfit. If you look like this man, this might be a mirror, and you may be wanted by <laughs> questioning. <laughs> What's this one? Looks normal enough to me. Normal, sir? Well, that's very pillar summers are built on, sir. A friend and mentor to those who in in need. Or, uh, let me just restart that sentence. A friend and mentor to those in need, a shoulder to cry on, a person who'll live in a wood hut with no air conditioning. The legendary camp counselor, sir. Nobody would buy that as a camp counselor. Oh, but they do, sir. It's the mustache. 
shows him to be rugged wilder men suited for the rough and tumble life of camp counselor. Not for timid folk like you and I, sir, no, sir. Not for shop vendors and coat wormers, no. Dress like a punk or road warrior from the future. Or M, you could wear this and be a, I don't know, a carrot. Well, I'm convinced. Sir, I'll ask you mighty nice not once, but keep your sausage fingers away from my money box. Hmm. Be a badass biker, bike not included. Are you still a biker without a bike or a badass walker? Assuming your ass is bad, either is in the dangerous sense of missing a buttock anyway. Your call. Did you write these advertisements yourself? No, sir. Came that way, sir. Good words, ain't they, sir? Amaze your friends, surprise your enemies, confuse real pirates with this inefficient pirate ensemble. Comes with a free press gangling. A snarky teenage wizard is welcome anywhere. Well, not so much welcomed as he'll turn up and then he'll be there and then it's almost as not a hassle to get rid of him as it is just to leave him be. That's my usual party vibe anyway. So two thumbs up from me. So there's really, it's full of ones and zeros. How'd anybody wear these? Says sir, while wearing a brown bin bag. Come on guy, this is a nice coat. And they say the customer is always right. So it's really, oh, one ticks or a miss. Miss Bacotti, I does beg your pardon. Miss, I should have known, obvious to me it now it is. I'll get your items for you now, miss. Uh, um, yes, thanks. Then here you go, miss, Juan. Swim cap. Thanks, I guess. So we've got to find something to complete his swimming outfit. What would go with a swimming outfit? Oh, help, I'm on fire! What on? Haha, <laughs> I'm a burning trash barrel. I'm meant to be on fire, you gonk. The look on your face, brilliant. I'm not even. Most of the dark side city it appears to be in ruin. supposed to be looking for I need to find something to complete this disguise before I put it on but what am I looking for is the question See, I've already read all this, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. If you look like this man, this might be a mirror. Also, he may be wanted by the police for questioning. See, I've already looked through all this. There's really nothing else I can do here. It is disturbing here. I don't like it. Hmm. 